Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm going over an Apple Watch accessory. Now you can get this on Amazon and I will leave links in the description. But if you're like me, you like camo. And as you can see here, this is definitely a camo Apple Watch and it fits the Series 4 like I got, but it also fits the Series 3, 2, and 1. So it will fit the 44 millimeter, and the 42 millimeter sized Apple Watch. This is one of the uh, better values on Amazon. It is $10.99, so it's a really good price. Now, I wanna go over if it's worth that money. So in the video, I wanted to compare how well the band is held up. I've worn it every day for the last two months, and also compare it against this other band that I've had for quite a while now. It is made by Carter Jet, and uh, see how the two compare to one another. They are different in price, but I wanted to show if there was a difference in quality. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Let's go. So this is the Carter Jet band. And as you can see here, it's quite worn. Uh, I This used to be my favorite Apple Watch band uh, ever. But as you can see, some of the color is now starting to fade and it is a little bit like, uh, I guess, bent and uh, out of source now. Some of the holes here in the uh, band itself are starting to get oblonged and uh, starting to fray a little bit. So overall though, this was definitely my favorite band of all time. It was a little bit pricey, it was over $20. An Apple Watch band that is not bad at all, but for uh, one off of Amazon, it's, I'd say the upper range in price that I've gotten at least. And as you can see here, some of the end parts of it are fraying now, uh, where it was, I guess, burned to get seal. Anyway, it's, it's still one of the better watch bands that I have though, even though it is a little bit discolored now, I really like it. Uh, you know, it's very comfortable, but compared to my, but compared to the new watch band, it, it is looking quite old and a little bit used up. So let's take a look at this new watch band and see the things I like and dislike about it. One of the things I do really like about this watch band is the coloration. Now on the picture, it looked a little bit, I don't know, grayer and uh, didn't have the, it didn't quite do it justice. I think it looks a lot better in person. Really like the way the seams are put together on this. This end piece here is not as frayed as the other one. Now, granted the other one I wore for a long, long time. Now this one might start to fray later. I could probably take it lighter and just heat that end up and press those back in. But uh, so far over two months, the holes are looking pretty good. The stitching on the end of the watch band is still really, really good. And the back end of the watch or the back side of the watch is still looking brand new. Um, I've worn this everywhere. Now, one of the things that I learned from my Carter Jet was is you probably don't want to be swimming in a chlorinated pool with this type of watch band, uh, taking showers all the time with this type of watch band. Even though it can do it, it is nylon, it's strong. Uh, I think that that's where some of the discoloration came from. Now, so overall, I think that the quality of the band is very, very nice, especially for the price. $10.99 for this watch band is great. And I feel it is held up awesome. Uh, some of the things that I don't like about the watch band, the color of these hoops here, it's not the greatest match to the watch itself. Now the watch has a cover, so it kind of hides the color variation here as you can see on the side of the watch here you can see space gray the space gray is a little different than the hoops on this watch band as you can see on the old carter jet it's a little bit closer here to the space gray so in that respect okay that's one of the 
one of the weak sides of it. I think that the uh, I think that here on the end where the uh, buckle goes in or where the strap gets inserted into the Apple Watch is right here. It's a little bit looser on this watch than on this watch, so it doesn't bend as well. But that's a minor gripe, and it doesn't affect the comfort of the watch or uh, how it looks on your wrist. So I really, really like the watch. Like I said, the only nitpicky thing is that this this coloring it wouldn't match it perfectly with the space gray. But that's very, very minor. As far as you know, putting the watch on with uh, this kind of band, and I'm doing this behind the camera, so just. Be patient. So you get it through the hoops. You get your buckle in. And then these two hoops, if you've never used this type of band before, you, you push it through the two hoops, pull it down, and they kind of tighten up here. And then you just take this front hoop, bend it forward, slide this through. And I really like how this watch, the fitment of this watch and how it goes together. Uh, it's been nothing but awesome. And for $10.99, I highly recommend it. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this informational. If you did, please click like. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna get the tech after. Later.